Hi, I'm Keio from Visual Components and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import point clouds using Python API. So let's start by looking at the help file of the application. And when you start writing Python add-ons you can go to the reference guide section and Python API and here you have a topic add-on and uh, creating Python add-on. So this will help you get started with add-ons and um, right now in the app application I have this template add-on uh, created for import in the cloud. And if I take a look at the source code of the add-on in the init file I load the command and add a menu item for it on the home tab. And if we look at the source code itself, uh, I only import VC command contents and get the application handle. And I define a, a function on start where I only print import cloud. So right now the add-on only prints something in the console. And before we start writing any further code, let's look at the sample file I have uh, to test my add-on. So the sample file is a PTS ASCII point cloud file exported from Autodesk Recap software. So here you see the cloud on a test project and the cloud uh, shows a warehouse of some sort. And the export file looks like this. Uh, first you have the XYZ coordinate values in meters for each point. And the fourth value is intensity value uh, as 8-bit integer. And then the next three values are the color values. So the red, green and blue as 8-bit integers. So this sort of a PTS file we're trying to open and create a point cloud in visual components with Python. And first thing I want to do in my add-on is to open the PTS file and read its contents. And visual, uh, in visual components uh, we have the standard command for opening a file. And you can see some documentation for it if you go to the Python API reference guide and uh, section VC command. At the end there are some standard commands listed that you can use in your add-ons. And the command called dialog open is the one we are using to read the PDS file. So let's write code that uses this standard command to open the PDS file. So this part of the code I wrote uh, opens uh, the or executes the dialog open command uh, for users to select the PTS file to be opened and uh, then we read the contents of that file. So here I grab the handle of the dialog open command uh, and assign the handler for its on post execute uh, event. So after the dialog is uh, complete this event is triggered and we go into this uh, event handler. And if we look at the documentation for dialog open, you see that it has three parameters. First, the URI or the path of the selected file. Uh, then a Boolean flag, whether the dialog was OK or whether it was cancelled. And the third parameter is a, a file filter that you can use in the dialog. And before we execute the open dialog, we use the third parameter, uh, which is called param underscore three in all the standard commands. We assign uh, the file filter like this. So in this case, we're uh, using a PTS filter to only show those files in the file system. And then we execute the open dialog. After the dialog, we go to the read file function 
and we first unregister to the on post execute event and then we check the flag on parameter 2 whether the dialog was cancelled and if it was cancelled then we just return from the add-on but if it was okay then we read the URI from the parameter uh, 1 and we actually take the substring from the eighth index forward uh, to get rid of this file extension that is present in VC URI properties. And if I print the path variable here, we see what this add-on does so far. Uh, I launch the open dialog, then I can select my sample file here and click open and you see that uh, the add-on prints the URI of the of the selected file so before uh, we start creating the point set uh, let's actually create a component object in the world where we uh, create the point set and store the cloud so let's write code for that In this uh, code section, we first look for a component called cloud. So if there's an old component in the application, uh, we delete it and then we create a new uh, blank component and give it name cloud. In the components root feature, we create a feature of type VC geometry. So that's a geometry feature where you, you can uh, create uh, geometry sets such as uh, point sets and in the geometry features geometry container we create the geometry set of type VC point set and you can find the documentation for VC point set object here uh, in Python reference guide topic VC point set for VC point set, you can set some parameters such as the point size, scale, and uh, also color configuration. By default, the color co uh, configuration is blue, green, red, but in our sample file, the colors are given actually in different orders, so a red, green, blue. And in the add on, I set the color configuration to be exactly that the red, green, blue and alpha channel at the end and I set the point size to be 3.0 so next thing is to write uh, code that uh, reads the lines in the open file and creates the points in the point set and uh, the method for, for adding points to the set is called add point and uh, we're going to be using this overload so give the uh, method six parameters, so x, y, z values and RGB as color values. So let's write code for that. In this uh, code section, I'm opening the file in my path uh, variable and assign it as a, a file variable in my code. Then I iterate through the lines in the file with a for loop and uh, I first uh, format the line string a little bit so get rid of the uh, new line character at the end and also split it with a space character in the uh, string list. And for the string list I just uh, use this try except branch to try uh, to handle the arguments and uh, first I try to get the XYZ values from the uh, string list from indexes 0, 1 and 2 and cast them in, in the float type and uh, multiply it by 1000. So PTS had uh, XYZ coordinates as meters but uh, in VC Python API you give the point uh, coordinates as millimeters so the scaling by factor of 1000 
then I get uh, color values uh, from the string list from indexes indices uh, 4, 5 and 6. So the intensity value uh, was in the uh, list as index 3 and I'm not using that at all. I'm just getting the color values. Uh, and for the color values I actually divide the value by uh, 255. And this is because uh, in the Python API uh, you should give the color values as a number between 0 and 1. So we are uh, scaling the 8-bit integer between 0 and, and 255 uh, to the domain of values between 0 and 1. And when I have all the values for X, X, Y, Z and R, G, P, then I call the add point uh, method for the point set to add a new point for this line. And at the end, after the for loop and the uh, open file branch, I just update the point set and rebuild the component. And at the end, I call the application to, uh, to render the scene. So now my add-on is finished and I can test it with my sample file. So let's go to the application and launched, launched uh, the add-on and select our PTS file and click open. Uh, this cloud is pretty big so loading it takes a while. So now the cloud was uh, loaded into the scene and if we take a look at the results we see that the scaling seems to be correct. I have one meter grid on the floor and the warehouse seems to be uh, properly scaled on it. And if I navigate inside the warehouse to look at the colors I also see that those seem to match the original cloud. Uh, in the original cloud in uh, recap, the toolbox is red, this cabinet is blue, and the note on the wall is uh, yellow. And the same colors show up in visual components as well. So now our add-on is ready and uh, it can import PTS files that have been exported from Autodesk recap projects. So that's it. That's it for importing point clouds with Python API and uh, thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.